Hello Light Warrior, it's Bella Bashan here. Last night I was cleaning up the kitchen and I heard from the Holy Spirit, you're sharp as a whistle. And I thought that's cool. I was like thinking the Holy Spirit was telling us like that we're sharp in our mind and I wrote it down. I didn't really think too much of it. And then this morning as I was going through my notebook and looking at that, I had to take a closer look to what it meant so I looked it up and I was I was surprised about the meaning that I came across Let's see if I can if I can find it here it says what does sharp as a whistle mean it says it means completely entirely thorough it may have been a replacement for the 18th century clear as a whistle which alluded to pure the pure and clean sound of a whistle i just think that that is such a beautiful meaning and i'm 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 really surprised by it so the holy spirit is saying there's a new pureness a new pure clean sound coming out of you your your energy your your countenance, which I made a video about that yesterday, that your countenance is glistening. You've been in the mountains praying. This is alluding to the fact that as you've been doing that, as the Holy Spirit's been rising you up, that you've been becoming a more clean in, in your countenance, more clean in your heart. In, in Ephesians, 4 31 and 32 it says let all the bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away with you with all malice and be ye kind to one another tender-hearted forgiving one another even as god for christ's sake has forgiven you it feels like you have done that like you have really been putting away bitterness and clamor you have really been cleaning your heart of those things and you are coming out uh, sharp and clean as a whistle. Like you are clean as a whistle and ready to go. And this has been a refining process and will continue to be a refining process. You are being refined through Christ. Christ is keeps, um, you're becoming a new creation and you, you just keep you become you keep becoming a more pure version of yourself as you allow god to cleanse your heart as you forgive and let go of bitterness and malice you're becoming a really beautiful cleaned up version of yourself and for some for some of you out there whoever this is for your voice is cutting through the noise for the kingdom of christ you're the pureness of you is resonant in your in your speaking it's cutting through like like sharp as a whistle some of you may be a whistleblower in a sense a whistleblower for the kingdom of christ and this is reminding me actually too of when i say whistleblower for the kingdom of christ like revealing the enemy's tactics revealing satan's plan and helping the body of christ becoming more uh better warriors so this is also reminding me too i just want to throw in there the other day i was talking about energy and i made a video um and i was i guided you guys to um i think her name was lynn mctaggard i have no idea what her overall like spiritual or religious beliefs are but what i what i do feel guided to share with you guys is that um i feel guided to share with you about energy because energy is god's creation and god created everything out of energy satan used to work for the kingdom of christ satan is a fallen angel and so satan knows Satan knows the Bible inside and out. Satan knows how God's creations work. Satan knows how to work God's creation. And there's a scripture that says that we perish for a lack of knowledge. Satan knows how energy works. And there's two sides. 
all sides are using God's creation of energy, but one side on one side, the Christian side, the kingdom of Christ, we have a large group of religious people who are saying that energy is not God's creation. They're saying it's Satan's creation. Satan tries to kill, steal, and destroy everything. In the book of Revelation, it talks about how Satan will come as he will show himself in the end days as a prophet. And so what this means is that Satan will be using the same energy that we use as from the kingdom of Christ to be doing signs and wonders. Satan knows how to manipulate this energy. That is one reason why I feel guided to share with you and put you on to the truth that energy is real. We all are capable of using it. It's just on one side one side is doing it without God and the other side is doing it for God and with the will of God. When we do things with on when we do things by our own will, that's moving towards Satan's Satan's way. And what what um the Holy Spirit was making me feel like is in the end times a lot of religious people will be fooled because they'll see the angel of light doing signs and wonders and being able to manipulate energy and knowing the Bible inside and out. And so that's how many people will be tricked. And so if you know the tactics, if you know how the world works, if you know the truth of things, then you will be, you will be, you will be more saved. You will be able to see the truth. So another thing about that video is, um, the lady that does those scientific research, it proves to the brain that prayer really does work. So whether you're doing it with or without God, your the energy still moves. It's just when you put God on it, you get you get the supernatural gifts. You get everything that comes with God. So can you manipulate energy without God? Yes. Will you get God's Will you get the same end result if you don't include God with it? No, you won't. You'll get something completely, totally different. So I hope that helps you. You guys, we are becoming a new, clean version. We are whistleblowers for the kingdom of Christ. And we have a pure sound. We have a clear sound that is pure and clean to... To uncover the truth for the kingdom of christ in jesus's mighty name so hey you guys i got my merch uh thing up if you guys want to check out some some little designs that i made i'm super excited about that i've always like thought it would be so cool to have to be able to put some designs on some clothes and i feel super excited about that so check out the new merch tab and i'll talk to you again later god bless